Well, gonna do a review today of my Kawasaki Bayou 220. Um, I went last night yesterday to Home Depot because it looked like it was gonna rain. Um, reason why I can't put it inside is I'll show you all in a minute because it smells like gas. I need a new gas gauge because the other one that was on it, the guy took it off because it was leaking real bad or something. I don't know. But I got one on the way. Um, but there's just duct tape over the gas gauge hole now, which is really redneck. But it'll work um but i picked up this tarp uh, only cost me 10 bucks but i'm probably gonna go buy another one like today or so because we use them a lot um these tires just real quick it'll soon be going inside but um Yeah, I don't like to keep any of my stuff outside. Sherman wants to buy this. So I got to do a review video for him today. So that'll be coming up later. Um, but this is my Bayou, my 1999 Kawasaki Bayou. It needs some tires. Um, well, it's getting there. Um, so today I got to take, I got I to call my uncle up because he's tired, man. He can give us a good deal on the tired fronts. Really don't need it, but the backs do. Um, I have my one of my guys, Matt V1256. He's on YouTube, uh, clean out the carburetor, which he's gonna do some more work to it. Um, but he used to have a big old bag on the back, which guy took it off. Um, but it's a nice four wheeler. I'm kind of pissed off that it's black, but that's the way it came. Um, and then when the guy painted those things green, he didn't really. There's like overspray on it now, but it's just whatever. I'm probably going to take that off, take them both off, and get them fixed up. But I'm going to do a cold start for you. See, there's a couple dents in the front. I'm, what I'm going to do with this for is I'm just going to flip it. I'm probably going to keep it all through the spring. Um, I mean, all the way up to the spring, sell it. Uh, so i got something to ride this winter. But, um, yeah, it's a nice four-wheeler. I'm probably going to order some new grips for it because they need to be replaced. The, the, um back brakes don't work yet but matt he's gonna fix them but the fronts work very very well they just need to be adjusted a tad bit more and they'll be amazing it's got electric start and a pull start um and the electric on the handle doesn't start so we got a button down there which will turn it over which i think this thing was stolen a while ago uh because the wiring is just in shit shape so we're gonna have to Fix that you can see on the back all the overspray which just pisses me off but uh yeah we're gonna go for a little ride um not not too far but see you can see this where the gas gauge goes but i'm gonna be fixing this um really soon uh, that part will be in probably at least friday um this is a cold start we're gonna choke it for you um make sure it's out of gear that was a cold start And it's blowing like the wind out here, guys. Sandy's coming. Yeah, we'll probably just keep it on. The... But the way you shift gears into reverse, I, I want to let this thing warm up a little bit. Backs work a little bit, but they're just not good enough for what we need. But this part will be in soon. They, they cost like 50 bucks without shipping. I think I paid like almost $60 for it. All right, now that it's warming up, it's starting to speed up a little bit, so we're just gonna... Yeah, it, it, Matt's gonna clean the car about more, but... this shit but I can get one for real cheap um, but what you do is you just turn that knob down and then click down on the gear shifter once but I can't really show you all that but yeah 
but we're gonna go do a full review and I'll show you everything around it and everything. See y'all in a minute. So we got the leaves that are starting to fall, which we're gonna have to clean all this up, but not today. I'm just gonna let it kind of go. Because uh, it is just gonna fall right again. So, all right, let's get downstairs. This thing is warming up pretty good now. So the key goes here. Um, but um, this here is your console here, which I'm really pissed off because somebody painted this all this shit flat black, and they didn't really care. But um, when I start this thing up, you can see how it goes green um, when it's in neutral. And then say, say if I pop it like up in the in the forwards, it goes off. And then when I drop it down again, it's in green. Batteries a tad bit weak, but um, you do. It's got high beams, they do work. Um, that would be low beams, that'll be high beams. You get your choke, that, that's full choke and well, no choke. But um, this is where your gas gauge goes, which I've got a new one on the way, which is really redneck and it's pissed me off a little bit. But what can you do, you know? Um, it's a $19.99, so if anybody's asking, front brakes, back brakes, and your parking brake there. Um, it's a 220. This is how you shift right here. Pull start, which works amazingly. Um, but yeah, you just this is the way you shift. Uh, it's up five and down one, but that's for reverse. And you, for reverse, you just twist it and click down one. But the engine's got to be running for that. Um, your fuel tank right here takes unleaded regular. You put whatever octane you really want. Really good fuel um, mileage only. Great, great vehicle for the zombie apocalypse coming up soon, you know, because I work at a zombie village, a haunted house. It's based off of zombies, but, um, just a little walk around of it. It's got racks on the front and on the back. Remember, once again, it's a 99. Got that paint all over the front. Lights work amazing. Um, here's this side of the machine. You can see that tires need to be replaced. I'll put a ball hitch on there so I can move my trailer, which we're, we also pull that green one down there. Um, but I'm gonna be looking for some tires. I'm not really, really caring, you know, when I get them. But um, maybe, maybe soon, if I'm gonna flip this thing over, uh, flip it, not like over, like on its side. But um, if I'm gonna, you know, make money off of it. What I'll do is got rear brake lights. Uh, you just you can't see them really well when it's running, but I mean it's a nice little four wheeler. It's fun to ride. Uh, shocks are amazing, obviously. But um, I'm going. My buddy owns some land down south of here, but he wants me to go film him. He's got a CUCV. Hopefully, maybe if I can talk him into it, go down there and film him. But uh, and I'll ride with him. He, he takes a CUCV and goes mudding and stuff, but I don't really want to do a whole lot of mudding in this, with this thing because the tires are so bad, but I told him, I said, I'd be glad to go down. I saw him yesterday, but um, it's a nice little four-wheeler. I just hate how the, the wiring all screwed up, but it's not really screwed up. It's just kind of redneck, um, but Matt V said he's going to fix it to where everything uh, works amazingly, and he says he's going to try to get that starter button up top to get working too but um <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick guys um but once again here's a little walk around there's your back brake too um, right there but it's an old four wheeler but I like it because it's fun but um it's fun to ride you know um I think I, I either broke my toe or sprained it, but on my left foot yesterday. So I, it's so hard to shift. Like I gotta reach down and shift because my foot just won't do it. But um, yeah, whenever I get that fuel gauge, I'll put it on there and so you know and show y'all how to do that. But we gotta fix all this crap. We're gonna take these off, grind all these down. So yep. Well, we'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. If y'all got questions all about the four wheeler or anything, um, let me know. Once again, it is a Kawasaki 220 by 220. Um, pull start slash electric. Uh, um, yeah, so talk to you guys later. Bye.